Hi everyone, um, I am not making a happy video today. Some of you may already know this, but I just found out that I've been diagnosed with breast cancer. And I, you guys have always been here for me and I feel like I need to bring you on this, on this journey with me because it's gonna be um, a scary year. Um, let me back up a little bit because I wanna do, I want to bring you with me on this journey because I want you to protect yourself and be aware of your own body. Um, so basically uh, what happened to me is I was having pain in my left breast and so I made an appointment to see my doctor and she gave me you know, the typical exam and she said that she didn't find anything and that um, cancer is not associated with pain and that I didn't need to worry about it. So she had told me to go home and just take ibuprofen and, and hope that I would feel better. And I didn't accept that for an answer. And I told her that I wanted to have a mammogram because I wanted to know why my body was hurting and not cover it up with ibuprofen, you know. So, um, so I did get a mammogram and they didn't find anything in the breast with pain, but they did find um, calcification in my right breast. And it was centered around some mass is what they told me. So, um, so I went in for a biopsy and then they told me um, a few days later that it was cancer. So I, um, I'm still kind of in denial right now because I think that's my body's way of protecting my mind or <laughs> maybe the other way around. Um, I just never prepared myself for this because I didn't think that would be a possibility for me. I'm 31 years old and they tell you to start getting mammograms when you're 50 and I, I'm making this video and I'm sharing this with you because I want you to listen to your body like I did because if I didn't and I would have just listened to my doctor then um, it could have been worse for me so uh, it's I have I have stage one breast cancer which is great because it's small but I have her two positive is the kind of cancer that I have and apparently it grows really really fast and it can spread in other parts of your body so that's the downside of it. Um, I don't know when my surgery date is yet. I will probably go in for that in the next couple weeks to have a lumpectomy. But I have to do the full deal. I have to do the radiation and the chemo part of it. Um, so that part is scary to me right now. Um, I don't know. <laughs> um, I guess the only positive thing that I can say to you is that I'm positive that this will not define me. And I am positive that I'm gonna kick this in the ass. And I know that I will be a much better person because of this in the end. And I'm gonna be strong as hell because there is nothing left to be afraid of. There's nothing, like this is as scary as it gets, you know? Um, I wasn't gonna cry, I was gonna be all strong and powerful in this video for you. Um, but I just, I'm putting this out there to you because I want you to go get a mammogram. Statistically, I shouldn't have this, you know, <laughs> if you look at statistics, because I'm young apparently. Um, and so you, you're not invincible. And if I've, if I've scared you enough to go to the doctor, then I've done my job here. I, I just, I can't stress it enough. If you feel like something's wrong with your body, you listen to it. You know your body, listen to yourself. And um, I just want to tell those of you that, you know, have reached out to me that knew about this already, um, that I love you guys and I'm so thankful for your support and it is incredible to me. Um, all the beautiful words you guys have sent to me. I printed all of them out. I have them all in paper so I can read them when I'm feeling sad. <laughs> and it's just incredible to me that I have friends from all over that are so sweet and supportive and I, I haven't even met you guys and I just, I feel the love from you. So I wanna tell you thank you. Listen to your body and um, I will be back soon. I filmed some fun videos for you guys. Um, I just came back from Hawaii. I cut off all my hair <laughs> because I didn't wanna wait for it to all fall out. I wanted to do something fun. And so I filmed that for you guys too. Um, so I will um, be posting those later this week for you. So be on the lookout for those. And I love you guys. Thank you for being here for me. Bye.